on everyone we're back once again with another amazing science tutorial video i'm coach spivey joined with my son jordan spivey and today we're going to be looking at the energy flow and chemical cycling in the biosphere our learning target for today is to describe the cycling of matter and flow of energy within ecosystems through the processes of photosynthesis and respiration so let's begin so let's take a look at the basics of photosynthesis Almost all plants are photosynthetic autotrophs. That means they use sunlight to help make food for themselves. And autotrophs make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. So if you take a look right here, here are some of our photosynthetic autotrophs. We have mosses, ferns, and flowering plants, kelp, euglena, and cyanobacteria. Let's take a look at an overview of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is the process by which autotrophic organisms use light energy to make sugar and oxygen gas from carbon dioxide and water. So if you notice on the left hand side of this equation, there is sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. These are called our reactants or our input. And this is what plants need in order to make glucose or food for themselves through the process of photosynthesis. And then if you look on the right hand side, these are our products or our outputs. So once plants go through the process of photosynthesis, they produce glucose, which is food for themselves, and oxygen gas as a byproduct. So let's take a closer look at photosynthesis. This leaf right here takes in sunlight energy, carbon dioxide, and water through its roots in order to produce carbohydrates in the form of glucose, and it gives off oxygen as a byproduct. So let's take another look. This leaf right here takes in sunlight energy, carbon dioxide, and water in order to produce or make glucose, which is food for itself, and it gives off oxygen as a byproduct. Now let's look at an overview of respiration. And respiration occurs in the mitochondria of organisms. If you notice, the reactants or inputs of respira respiration are oxygen and glucose, and the products or outputs are carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So this is true for bugs, for animals, and also for humans as well. All organisms go through the process of respiration. If you notice down here, respiration is not breathing. All organisms respire, which is the production of ATP from organic molecules. So they respire in order to make ATP or energy for themselves. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen. This is where ventilation and gas exchange come in. So now let's connect the two concepts. And we'll be looking at the energy flow and chemical cycling by photosynthesis and respiration. And if you notice in the chloroplast, carbon dioxide and water react using light energy to produce glucose and oxygen. So here are three reactants for photosynthesis. We have water that goes in, we have sunlight energy that goes in, and we have carbon dioxide that goes in. And it's noted that this carbon dioxide comes from other organisms or it can come from power plants or factories that give off carbon dioxide as a byproduct. And you look at all three of these reactants, they go into the process of photosynthesis and to help produce the products of photosynthesis, which are glucose, which is sugar or food for the plant, and oxygen gas as a byproduct. If you look right here, the mitochondria takes in glucose and oxygen to react to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP. So in cellular respiration, the mitochondria takes in glucose and oxygen and in order to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP for other organisms to have energy to survive. The byproduct or the byproduct of cellular respiration is carbon dioxide. And if you look, that carbon dioxide goes right back into the process of photosynthesis. If you look, the products of photosynthesis go into cellular respiration, and they are the reactants needed for cellular respiration. Once again, the product from cellular respiration is carbon dioxide, and it goes into photosynthesis as a reactant to help the plant make glucose or food for itself. And the plant also gives off oxygen as a byproduct. And the oxygen is used as a reactant 
and glucose is used as a reactant for cellular respiration as well. So that's why it's called one big process because energy flows and the chemicals are cycled constantly through the processes of photosynthesis and respiration. Notice that each process needs the other in order to survive. So let's take another look at the energy flow and chemical cycling in the biosphere. So plants and trees take in carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight in order to produce food for themselves in a process of photosynthesis. So if we take a look, they produce food in the form of glucose and give off oxygen as a byproduct in the process of photosynthesis. And then if we look, the human right here takes in that oxygen and glucose in a form of food in order to start cellular respiration for themselves, which gives them energy. So it gives them energy in a form of ATP inside of the mitochondria. And then as a byproduct or the products that are produced from this human is carbon dioxide and water. So let's look at our steps. Step one, the plant or tree takes in carbon dioxide and water and sunlight to go through the process of photosynthesis to produce glucose for themselves and it gives off oxygen as a byproduct. This person right here takes in the oxygen, breathes in the oxygen and takes in glucose in the form of food in order to go through the process of cellular respiration, which creates energy for the human in the form of ATP. Now let's take an overall look at energy flow and chemical cycling in the biosphere. And we'll start here. So we have water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight energy, which enters the ecosystem to start the process of photosynthesis. And these three are your reactants for photosynthesis. The products of photosynthesis are glucose, which, is the sh which are the sugars or the food energy for the plant or tree, and oxygen gas, which is given off as a byproduct. The glucose and oxygen gas are used as the reactants in cellular respiration. And if you notice right here, ATP drives cellular work. So this is the energy that is created through cellular respiration. And as a result of doing work, organisms lose heat energy and it exits into the ecosystem. And if you look, our products of cellular respiration are water and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide goes back into the process of photosynthesis and the cycle goes on and on and on. And so that's how the energy flows and the chemicals are cycled throughout the biosphere from the process, through the process of photosynthesis and respiration. So photosynthesis goes through the trees and plants and respiration goes through other organisms like insects, animals, and us humans. Now it's time for your check for understanding. And you're gonna answer the following questions using your knowledge of energy flow and chemical cycling in the biosphere. You'll be given 10 minutes to do so, and I'll come around and check your responses at the end of those 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this tutorial over cycling of matter and energy flow in the biosphere has been helpful. I'm Coach Spivey, signing off my son Jordan Spivey. Peace and have a wonderful, awesome, positive day.